So volume and concentration can be used to calculate moles of either reactants or products. And as a result, it's something that we can also use for doing uh, solution stoichiometry problems. And, and when we do this, we follow very much the same pattern that we did when we did mass to moles to moles to mass type conversion problems. Uh, what we do, though, is we use the volume of a certain concentration of solution to allow us to find out what the moles are. So for example, if I have a volume of A, I can use the molarity to calculate the moles of A. And then just like in all the other stoichiometry problems, from that point on, it's a mole-to-mole -mole conversion using the stoichiometric coefficients in the balanced chemical reaction. And then once you're at moles of B, you can either go to grams as an option using the molar mass or you could go to a volume using the molarity so this requires the molar mass and this is just the molarity at this point here all right take a look at this problem we have to calculate the grams of copper needed to react with four mils of nitric acid and we have the balanced chemical equation in front of us and basically we're going to follow this reaction pathway that we talked about just uh, in the previous on this slide earlier and so what i'm going to do is i'm going to start with my volume right so i'm going to have volume nitric acid and i'm going to calculate the moles of nitric acid and again when you look at this 16 moles per liter you have to think of it in terms of 16.0 right moles per liter like that I mean that's what molarity means but write it out it'll help you see how you use those units to calculate moles so now we get the moles of nitric acid we're gonna get the moles of copper and then we're gonna get the grams of copper and again that mole to gram conversion you'll need the molar mass from the periodic table okay so now you have to take a closer look at the units. I've been given units of milliliters, but this molarity is in units of liters, so I have, I'll have to do a conversion in that first step, okay? So this is what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna write it out like this. I'm looking for grams of copper, and then I'm gonna start with my volume, 4.00 milliliters, and then I'll multiply that to convert over to liters. So I know a milliliter is 10 to the minus third liters. So that'll allow me to do that conversion. And, and then I'm going to use my molarity in moles per liter again to get over to moles of nitric acid. So since the liter is on the bottom, I'll just write it as 16.0, or liters is in the bottom of molarity. I'll write 16.0 moles of HNO3 for every one liter. And at this point, I'll have converted to moles of nitric acid. So I'm at this step here, and then I need the mole ratio. Again, this part of every stoichiometry problem is, stoichiometry problem is the same. So there's eight moles of nitric acid for every three moles of copper. Now I have moles of nitric acid now, so that's what I wanna cancel, right? So think about where that goes, right? It goes on the bottom. So I'm going to have 8 moles of HNO3 for every 3 moles of copper. And the last step is to convert from moles of copper, because that's what cancels there, moles of copper to grams of copper. So now I need to look up the molar mass, and when you do that, you'll find that its molar mass is 63.546, oops, six grams for every one mole of copper. Again, that's just straight off the periodic table, that value. So I've got all my conversion set up, so I just need to do the calculation and pull out your calculator and you'll get 1.5 two five grams of copper uh, will react with four mils of concentrate that's 16 molar concentrated nitric acid um, sig figs going back through the numbers we have three sig figs in the four mils and three sig figs in the 16 
And all the other conversions are more precise or they're exact. So we'll round this number to the three sig figs. And so that leaves 1.53 grams. So here's another practice problem. Um, and that's actually where this, ignore that little number down there. Another practice problem for you to do, and then I'll work it out. Um, and it's this, if four mils of 16 molar nitric acid is poured over an excess of copper, how many grams of NO2 are produced? Okay, so same reaction, same amount of nitric acid, and what you need to do now is convert it over to grams, moles of NO2, and then grams of NO2. So draw your solution map, and then lay the problem out, and then while the video is paused, and in a few seconds, the answer will pop up and we'll go over it. Okay, so here's the calculation. Uh, again, we start with the four mils and the six, and convert it to milliliter, milliliters to liters, and then we convert the liters to moles. So if you'll notice, this problem and this problem start out exactly the same, and even the denominator is the same in the mole conversion that is at this point here. The only thing that changes really is the stoichiometric coefficient used for the NO2 and the molar mass of the substance is different because in the previous problem, right, we were using copper, but now we're using uh, NO2 minus and the molar mass is given to you here. So you end up getting 0 0.073608 and we're going to round this to four sig figs again because the given numbers have uh, three sig figs at the most. And so, this we're going to round. We're rounding three sig figs. I don't know what I said now. Uh, that's going to give me 0 0.0736 grams of NO2.